How are electric cables made? Electrical wires and cables play a crucial role in our daily lives, acting as conduits for electrical current to flow from one point to another. These conductors are vital for powering homes, industries, and electronic devices. Copper and aluminum are the primary materials used for manufacturing these conductors, with copper being the preferred choice due to its excellent conductivity, flexibility, and low resistance. This article explores the comprehensive process involved in manufacturing electric cables from raw materials to the final product. Electrical cables are ubiquitous in modern infrastructure, essential for transmitting power and data efficiently and safely. They are used in a wide range of applications, including residential wiring, industrial machinery, telecommunications, and transportation systems. High-quality cables are critical for ensuring reliable and safe electrical connections, minimizing energy losses, and reducing the risk of electrical fires and failures. Starting with raw, copper, copper is a highly sought-after element for electrical applications due to its remarkable properties. It is highly conductive, malleable, and recyclable, making it an ideal material for manufacturing wires and cables. The process begins with sourcing raw copper from mines around the world. South America, particularly Chile and Peru, is a major producer of copper, along with regions in Asia and the United States. Extracting Copper from Ore To understand how copper wires are made, we first need to explore the extraction process from copper ore. This process involves several steps to transform the raw ore into pure copper, suitable for wire manufacturing. Copper ore is extracted from the earth through mining operations. This ore contains a mixture of minerals, including copper, which must be separated from other elements. Major copper mining operations are located in Chile, Peru, China, and the United States. These mines produce millions of tons of copper ore annually. Once the copper ore is extracted, it undergoes a process known as comminution, which involves crushing and grinding the ore into smaller pieces. This process increases the surface area of the ore, making it easier to extract the copper. The crushed ore is then mixed with water to form a slurry. The next step is to concentrate the copper minerals from the slurry using a process called froth flotation. This technique involves adding chemicals to the slurry that cause the copper-containing minerals to attach to air bubbles and rise to the surface as froth. The froth, rich in copper minerals, is skimmed off, while the remaining slurry, containing waste minerals, is discarded. The concentrated copper minerals are then subjected to roasting and smelting to extract the copper. During roasting, the concentrate is heated in the presence of oxygen, which removes sulfur and other impurities, forming copper oxide. The copper oxide is then reduced to pure copper through smelting. Smelting involves heating the copper oxide with a reducing agent, such as carbon, in a furnace. The resulting product is molten copper, which is about 99% pure. To achieve even higher purity, the copper undergoes electrolytic refining. In this process, the impure copper is used as an anode in an electrolytic cell, while a pure copper cathode is used. When an electric current is passed through the cell, copper ions from the anode dissolve into the electrolyte solution and deposit onto the cathode as pure copper. This process produces copper that is 99.99% pure. Once we have pure copper, the next step is to transform it into wire through the extrusion process. Extrusion involves forcing the copper through a series of dyes to create a particular shape and size. These dyes determine the shape and size of the copper wire. The copper is pushed through the dyes using hydraulic pressure, creating long, continuous strands of wire. The thickness of the wire can be controlled by adjusting the size of the dyes. After extrusion, the copper wire is still stiff and brittle. To make it more flexible and suitable for electrical applications, it undergoes a process called annealing. 
Annealing involves heating the wire to a specific temperature and then slowly cooling it. This process relieves internal stresses and softens the copper, making it more pliable. Covering the cable. After the copper wire is formed, the next step is to cover it with insulation and protective layers. This process involves several stages, each designed to ensure the wire is safe, durable, and suitable for its intended application. Insulation. The copper wire is coated with an insulating material to prevent electrical current from escaping and to protect against short circuits. Common insulation materials include polyvinyl chloride, PVC, polyethylene, PE, and cross-linked polyethylene, XLPE. The insulation is applied through an extrusion process where the wire is passed through a machine that coats it with the insulating material. Twisting conductors. For cables that require multiple conductors, such as twisted pair cables used in networking, the insulated wires are twisted together. Twisting helps reduce electromagnetic interference, EMI, and crosstalk between the conductors. The twisted pairs are then bundled together to form the core of the cable. Jacket application. The final protective layer is the outer jacket, which encases the entire cable. The jacket is typically made of PVC or another durable weather-resistant material. The jacket provides mechanical protection, shielding the cable from physical damage, moisture, and environmental factors. The extrusion process is used to apply the jacket, ensuring a tight and uniform coating. Plenum rated cables. For cables installed in building plenum spaces, areas used for air circulation, additional fire retardant properties are required. Plenum rated cables have a special jacket material that is flame resistant and produces less smoke and toxic fumes in the event of a fire. This makes them safer for use in commercial and residential buildings. Cutting and finishing. The final stages of the cable manufacturing process involve cutting the finished cables to length and attaching connectors or terminals. Quality control and testing. Before the cables are packaged and shipped, they undergo rigorous quality control and testing. This includes electrical testing to ensure conductivity and insulation integrity, as well as mechanical testing for durability and flexibility. Any defects or inconsistencies are identified and rectified to ensure the cables meet industry standards and customer specifications. Environmental and Safety Considerations The manufacturing of electrical cables involves several environmental and safety considerations. Companies must adhere to strict regulations and standards to minimize their environmental impact and ensure the safety of workers and end users. Recycling and Waste Management Copper and other materials used in cable manufacturing are valuable and recyclable. Scrap copper from the production process is collected and recycled, reducing the need for new raw materials. Waste management practices are also implemented to handle other byproducts and waste materials responsibly. Energy Efficiency The extraction, refining, and manufacturing processes for copper and cables require significant energy. Companies strive to improve energy efficiency through advanced technologies and sustainable practices, reducing their carbon footprint and operating costs. Worker Safety Ensuring the safety of workers in cable manufacturing facilities is paramount. This includes providing proper training, protective equipment, and safety protocols to prevent accidents and exposure to hazardous materials. Regular inspections and maintenance of equipment are also essential for a safe working environment. Environmental Regulations Compliance with environmental regulations is critical for cable manufacturers. This includes adhering to standards for emissions, waste disposal, and the use of hazardous substances. 
Companies often implement environmental management systems to monitor and improve their environmental performance, innovations, and future trends. The cable manufacturing industry continues to evolve with technological advancements and changing market demands. Several trends and innovations are shaping the future of cable production. High Performance Materials The development of new materials with improved properties is enhancing cable performance. For example, advanced polymers and composites offer better insulation, higher temperature resistance, and greater durability. These materials enable the production of cables that can withstand harsh environments and demanding applications. Smart Cables The integration of smart technology into cables is an emerging trend. Smart cables have embedded sensors and monitoring systems that provide real-time data on cable performance, including temperature, voltage, and mechanical stress. This information can be used to predict failures, optimize maintenance, and improve overall system reliability. Sustainable manufacturing sustainability is a growing focus in the cable manufacturing industry. Companies are adopting greener practices, such as using recycled materials, reducing energy consumption, and minimizing waste. Innovations in manufacturing processes, such as low-energy extrusion and environmentally friendly insulation materials, are contributing to more sustainable production. Miniaturization and high-density cables. The demand for compact and high-density cables is increasing especially in electronics and telecommunications. Advances in manufacturing techniques allow for the production of smaller, lighter cables with higher data transmission capacities. These cables are essential for modern applications like data centers, wearable devices, and high-speed internet infrastructure. Regulatory Compliance and Standards As technology and applications evolve, so do the regulatory standards for cable manufacturing. Compliance with international standards, such as those set by the International Electrotechnical Commission, IEC, and the Underwriters Laboratories, UL, ensures that cables meet safety, performance, and quality requirements. Staying up to date with these standards is crucial for manufacturers to compete in global markets. The manufacturing of electrical cables is a complex and highly technical process that involves multiple stages, from extracting raw materials to producing the final product. Each step is meticulously designed to ensure the highest quality and performance of the cables, meeting industry standards and customer requirements. Starting with the extraction of copper from ore, the process includes crushing, grinding, concentrating and refining to produce pure copper. This copper is then transformed into wire through the extrusion process, followed by annealing to make it flexible. The wires are then insulated, twisted, and shielded as needed, before being jacketed for protection. Throughout the manufacturing process, environmental and safety considerations are paramount. Companies strive to improve energy efficiency, recycle materials, and ensure the safety of workers and end users. Innovations and future trends in the industry focus on high-performance materials, smart cables, sustainable manufacturing, and regulatory compliance. Understanding how electric cables are made highlights the intricate and essential nature of this industry, which underpins much of the modern world's infrastructure and technological advancements. That's all the information that we have for you today. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell so you never miss out on future episodes. And be sure to also tell us what you think about today's content. Everyone's support motivates us to continue delivering quality content and to always improve. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.